with that, our chief meteorologist Mike Harvey is following Waukean's potential impact here on western Pennsylvania. Yeah, it is going to be moving up the coast. It's going to sit just off the Bahamas, the central Bahamas, just east of there, and it's going to meander over the next couple of days. And where it ends up is really going to impact that track and where it goes as it heads up to the north. Winds now sustained at 85 miles per hour. That is a category one hurricane. And you can see the direction of movement is southwest at eight miles per hour. But really, this is just going to be meandering down here for the next couple of days. And then it's finally going to shoot up the coast and gain strength, potentially becoming a category three hurricane. Now, right now, we have it moving in somewhere around the Carolinas or Virginia. But we don't know where this is going to start because of its meandering down to the south. It really can show up anywhere between the outside lines here, between the uh, Carolinas all the way up to New York. As we go through the next couple of days, we'll be able to pinpoint a little bit better where this is going to make landfall, or at least the center of landfall from this uh, hurricane. But it does look like it is going to be a hurricane, and it does look like it is going to be moving inland towards the U.S. Now, I wanted to show you what we call the spaghetti models. Most of the models that uh, we're using show this tracking inland closer to the uh, Carolinas. So I wouldn't be surprised if this took uh, that route a little bit closer down south moving inland and we could see some showers out of this but I don't think we could see too much in the way of severe weather out of this. As we take a look at what's happening right now we are seeing clouds that are over the area as we look outside 62 degrees dew point at 55 degrees winds are north at 10 miles per hour keeping those temperatures down. As we take a look at our map you can see that high pressure is up to our north and that is carving out some sunshine up in the Great Lakes and that's going to try to send some sunshine down towards Pittsburgh likely will northwest of the area but down south low pressure is going to pump up some moisture and that's going to keep some clouds in the area as we head through the day on Thursday. More of that moisture is going to pump up as we head into Friday. So expect mostly cloudy skies on Friday and then the rain from this low pressure will move up into the area as we head into the weekend on Saturday. So this is how it looks. Tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy. We'll see partly cloudy skies, especially northwest of Pittsburgh. And then we take it into Friday in the morning, partly to mostly cloudy. And those clouds really overspread the area as we go through the day. Saturday is when we have the rain showers that will begin to move in. And you can see just about everybody will have a chance of rain as we head through the day on Saturday. So 47 degrees for your low temperature tomorrow morning with the mostly cloudy skies to partly cloudy skies. 64 in the afternoon. It'll be cool with a mix of clouds and some sun. A little bit more sunshine the further northwest that you go. And temperatures are going to stay cool. On Friday, we're looking at a high of just 58 degrees. Saturday, 60 degrees and 64 on Sunday. So cool temperatures as we head into the weekend or fall like conditions. And then as we take it into next week on Monday, there will also be a chance of rain showers. Your four degree guarantee for tomorrow, we're calling for a high of 64 degrees.